All right. Our next lesson for the for the SRW Type Three Special is something that I also um I also managed to um do a practice run of. And as it being an interesting game, it spawned a sequel in which um I didn't even know there there was one to I didn't even know there was a sequel to a game like this. So here it is from nineteen ninety. I present to you this game. Enjoy. This is Final Zone. Brought to us by Wolf Team and Renovation Products. And just to show you, this is what the game is really about. It's an isometric shooter in which, um... Well, you're just blowing some stuff up. Give me a moment. Alright. So as I said before, it is an isometric shooter, as you've seen in the demo, in which you do get a plethora of weapons, but you can only use two at a time. You can have at least 20 weapons. You can, you can carry up to um, 14 out of 20 weapons. There are 20 weapons in total, but you can also but you can only carry at least 14. But you can only use two of the 14 that your mech can hold. Let's put this on normal. Technically, that line means how far we have until... How far we have until, you know, last area. Now, if you actually look at it, it kind of reminds you of another game that I also did on my channel. It reminds me of Arkansas Because Arkansas was also an isometric um, shooter. Now, there is story involved in this game. In all things considering, the story is pretty interesting. The 
name of the character that you play as is um Howard Bowie. The hero of the The hero of the El Sharia military nation for a link. And commander of the unit known as Team Undead. Of course, if you hadn't noticed, that's how you clear a stage. You have to destroy all the enemies. So, we're going to take on our first boss known as Great Bull. And seeing that this is a warship boss, If you played anything like 1943 or any shooter of that effect that has a war a warship boss, then you know what you need to do. You just technically just need to shoot every unit on the field. Just like on the battlefield, you have to do the same thing for every boss. According to the story, it also says it's a hundred years in the future and weapons of mass destruction have been banned from the field of war. Fighting's now done with the futuristic power armor known as the New Age Power Suit or NAP. NAPS. So, our hero is assigned to use his K-19 Phantom Nap to infiltrate enemy territory to point A-46K Blade Axis and destroy the sole remaining weapon of mass destruction. So, in short, we're destroying the last known WMD. The game isn't hard. It's just mainly you just have to hunt everything down. That's the whole point of the game. You're just hunting every enemy down. Now there was a sequel on the PC Engine, which I had to say had more story compared to this version, which suffice to say never really had a story. It's just you shooting mechs for no apparent reason. As a matter of fact, I had to look this up on Wikipedia because there was nothing, and I do mean nothing, on Game Facts that actually said anything. However, Mobile Games had something to say about it, and I will share that in the link below. 
put it in the box below. But yeah, it feels like I'm... It kind of feels like I'm playing as a Saku. Next is the Black... Next, we're taking on the Black Knights. And seeing these enemies, they remind me of the Black Tri-Stars in Kido Senshi Gundam. So as I mentioned, you know, you have two, two weapons. You have a, you have, um, your sidearm which is mounted to your back, and then of course you have your main gun. Now my practice run, I actually made up to at least five until I just got tired. So I can tell you, this game is not bad, it's just, as far as it being something of an, as being an isometric shooter, I have no qualms with this game. you have to do is just mainly go around hunting because if you really think about it it's, just, it's mainly just hide and go seek that's, that's all this game is really is you know I mean, it's not really, you know, that bad. I mean, for the most part, it's all you're doing for, like, the rest of the game. And strangely, the, the sequel to this game...
has a story, but um. As far as I know, it made sense at the beginning and then all of a sudden, I don't know. The story went left field for some apparent reason. Let me switch to my analog. Because if I'm playing something isometric, I might as well play it using analog. This is why I just stick with one weapon, because if I switch over to another weapon... Here's the thing about switching to another weapon. It has limited, it has limited usage, but... If you took too much damage, you'd lose said weapon. interesting game I've ever played. Only because you're using you're using a mech to find WMDs, the last WD, the last WMD on Earth. Next, we fight Twin Eagle. just to stay in the middle. So they're going to just surround you anyway. They're going to just surround you and it's just best to stay in the center. At least until you get rid of one. And then you get rid of the other. Now 
we go into stage four. Which we take on just 13 bronze batteries. Probably the only easiest mission because all you're doing in this limited field of view is just destroying these gun batteries. And they're not that hard to find. It sounds like that, it sounds like sound like the game is gargling at me. Very easy mission. Next we take on Spider Web. If you hadn't guessed by now, we're taking on a robotic spider. All you have to do is just strafe and just just ignore the shots. Just try to ignore the shots as best you can, and just keep firing him, and he'll eventually blow up, as you saw right there. Now we go into stage five. Got four yellow walls, eight yellow hornets. We're almost there, we're almost through this area. This is where I actually stopped. Very simple mission, you just basically shoot all the enemies that just appears right next to you. Take that one out. And therefore, we have taken care of the zone. Next, we take, take on Mole Hill. Very simple, very easy. We just take down these gun batteries like so. Use your mounted, um, use your mounted um, sidearm if need be.
just to clear out all these gun batteries. And just shoot this like here. That shoot the core and there, you're done. Now we move on to stage six, in which I I never got an FR. We got twenty enemies to deal with. And I believe we are near um, the end of the game. Just simply hunt for... Just simply hunt around. You'll eventually find the rest of the enemies like what I'm doing right now. Some of the stages do get repetitive, but you know... But you shouldn't feel the scourge after playing a game like this. If anything, this game tests your patience, really. Now, of course, you also have side weapons that... Secondary weapons, which I should show you. Like what I'm using right now, I'm using my twin gun as my main gun. And I'm using a wave gun. I'm using the wave gun as my um as my secondary.
Now you do get a replenishment after every, after every, um, every zone you take down. I just don't use my, I just don't use my sidearms as much. Another zone smashed. So now we take on Axis. Which I believe is the last boss of the game. You, you merely need just to take out these little guys like so. then take down the brain. And the last thing you just need to do is just shoot the core. And always, it will switch back to your default, um... Your default sidearm. Every time you use a main, uh, one of your um, specialty sidearms, whenever you use that up, it will always switch back to your main sidearm. I'm sorry if it's a lot of flashing, but seeing as this is the final boss, yeah, this requires a lot of shooting. Few more well placed shots and he should be down. And that's it. Axis is down. So now we head into the last battle. There's only one enemy left.
All you have to do is just follow, just follow him. And just shoot him in the back or in the face, it don't matter. Just continuously shoot at him. Strafe if you need to. And that's it. And now I have to escape. Wonderful. And I eventually do escape. Get the fuck out of here, it's time to go. And that's it! That, my friends, is the end of Final Zone. And with that, we're done. So if a game such as this, all I have to say is, um, it's an interesting game. And, um, I have no words other than... It has been an interesting. It has been an inter interesting ride. Yeah, interesting ride for me to actually go through this game, partially blind, especially at the at the very last parts of the game. But I practice enough just to know. Okay, this is where everything is. You just basically just hunt everything down. So with that, um, I've been the Tenkai H of gaming. PI7, and this was Final Zone for the Sega Genesis, brought to us by Wolf Team Renovation Products. Until the next time, I'll see you with more videos.